Hi, my name is Carrie. I'm an intern at the Catskill Center working on a program called CRIS, the Catskill Regional Invasive Species Partnership. I'm here to talk to you today about one of our priority species, Norway maple. Norway maple was first introduced in the U.S. from London when John Beecham received rootstock and began distributing the plants through his nursery in Philadelphia. Sales really took off when George Washington bought two of the plants and then they were commonly found all across the U.S. in many years after. Nori maple shows all basic characteristics of the maple family. It is commonly confused with sugar maple. However, there are a few things that can help you to tell it apart. Nori maple has leaves with five major veins, as you can see here, and compared with sugar maple, which only has three major veins. The leaves of nori maple are wider than they are long, and compared to sugar maple, which is longer than it is wide. You can also tell because when you remove the leaf from the plant, it will lose a white sap. Uh, mature maple will not have, it has clear sap. Nori maple has a negative effect on the environment. For one, it has extreme shade tolerance, which allows the young to grow in a fully established canopy in the forest. This shades out native species and reduces the diversity of many things, such as wildflowers. It is very important that we control the spread of nori maple throughout our region. The best thing you can do is avoid buying nori maple in nurseries where it may still be sold. Instead, you can buy native species such as red maple or shorter maple. Also, if you already have nori maple on your property, you can cut down the trees, um, you can girdle them in order to kill them, or you can pull up any small seedlings you see growing. 